Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know you guys have not seen me in weeks on here. I've been kind of taking like a hiatus, if you will, from YouTube and kind of Instagram too, just kind of doing my thing, living my life. But I will have an update video kind of on what's been going on, what has changed, all of that probably this week. But I wanted to finally get like one of the last pieces of my organization to my wardrobe done. I've been doing several videos on cleaning and organizing my wardrobe. You can check it here. I will put my whole cleaning organization and playlist here and we're going to be working we've done skincare we've done the nails we've done the lips we've done the makeup eyeshadow all of that jazz so today we're going to be working on hair care <laughs> I have so much hair care for a person who just fucking wears their hair like this, okay? We're gonna get into basically reorganizing my hair care drawer. I'm going to be actually splitting it in half. It's going to be half hair care and half my nails. So I'm going to fix the camera so you can actually see it because the drawer is pretty low and we're gonna get right into it. Here it is. Ah, do not judge me, okay? And I have a whole nother cardboard box full of new hair care that I just bought. So just, okay, take a peep because in a second, maybe minutes and hours, it won't look like this, okay? Just cal calm yourself. So I think I'm going to start with just taking out my big hair tools. So I got this. I ordered this and then literally a week later cut all my hair off so I am gonna grow it back out but it's not gonna be any longer than my shoulder so we'll have to see if this is actually gonna work for my hair because right now it's definitely not but shoulder length like touching my shoulders it might so I'm gonna keep it because it was I mean pretty pricey and I've, I've never used it so this is my dry bar I don't remember what it's called I'll put it in the description um, but this is it gives me my blowout when my hair is wet I just use this when I'm doing it straight I really like it especially with my short hair. I think with long hair, it works really well. It's just because my hair is so thick that when I have longer hair, it takes me forever to use something like this. I really love it. it this was expensive. It was $150. So I like it. I recommend it, but it's pricey. Oh my gosh. And then this is just, you know, a hair dryer. And then I have my GHD straightener, which I absolutely love and I recommend 100%. But again, this was $270 maybe. Why? Why? Why do I have trash in here? We have a curling wine, which I'm gonna wind up giving to my daughter because I don't use it. I have so many hair tools for someone who does not do her hair. This is the Beach Waver by Bedhead or A Wave We Go. I don't freaking know what it's called, but it's actually really good and I really like it. And this one was kind of inexpensive. Okay, so now that I have all my big hair tools out because I forgot that I did get rid of a lot of them. So that's good. Let's put hair products back in here. Trash. I have hair brushes, hair accessories. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put all my hair brushes and hair accessories in here. I have so many different brushes, round brushes of all different sizes because you need them because they give you different shapes, different size waves, and if your hair is different lengths. Now I have to figure out what products I want to keep and what products I want to get rid of. These are brand new. I have never used them. <laughs> never used them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's start. Let me get a bin. So these are the bins I got from Target and they're pretty big and pretty long. So I'm going to be using these to store my stuff. So right now I'm going to put what I'm keeping in a bin and then what I'm not keeping in a bin. So right now I'm gonna get all the stuff that I'm keeping and put it in this bin. So this is my Hot Toddy heat protectant spray. I am keeping this. I prefer like that, like an aerosol can versus, I think I have one from Redken. It sprays, but it's like, it makes it wet. It's gross. So I really like this one. It's my favorite. So this is my, this is disgusting, I know. 
so I touch it when I have like chemicals and products on my hand chemicals I touch it when I have products and stuff on my hand so it's a little gross so just ignore it but this is the bedhead um, foxy curls literally if you have curly hair this is my favorite stuff to use I used to use a lot of gel and a lot of hairspray and I use basically neither of those now and this is really nice for my curls so we have the not your mother's which is another one of my favorite brands for my curls and this is curl talk defining cream then I have the plump for joy bodybuilding dry shampoo I've never used this I got it at an Ulta sale <laughs> Then I have these. I'm going to get rid of these. These are the Amica. This is the Undone Texture Spray. I really like it. I'm going to get a full-size bottle, but this was a sample, and it's basically done. So what am I keeping? This is another sample I got. This is the uh, Biolage. Biolo I think it's Biolage. Um, All-in-one intense dry shampoo. Literally my favorite dry shampoo. I will be buying a whole one once this is done. And another favorite curling brand, this is Curlsmith, and this is the Hold Me Softly Styling Balm. This is actually, I believe, a sample, but this is what got me loving this company. And then another one of my favorite, favorite um, creams, this is a styling cream. This is Professional Sebastian Twisted Styling Cream. It's a curl magnifier. This is the bomb, okay? This is way pricier than this. I think this cost me at TJ Maxx, like, pfft. I don't know, $7.99, $5.99. This was like 20 bucks, maybe 24, but I'm telling you guys, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let me tell you about this little bougie ass item, okay? This is the Sebastian, Professional Sebastian Dark Oil, and this is the Silkening Hair Mist. It's a fragrance hair mist. Um, basically, I, I'm pretty certain this is like a, a hair like perfume okay um it's like 20 bucks maybe a little bit more you can use it as like a silkening thing just for like a quick touch up for frizzes but basically it sells for like fragrant hair mist like it just smells really good um I've only used it twice it does smell really good so I do like to use it to make my hair smell nice because if not I'll just spray my perfume in my hair this is another defining cream I just love that brand. This is a coconut curl. I believe this is a leave-in mask. Um, I'm gonna move that to the bathroom. And then Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse, my favorite, but it's empty for the most part. So I'm gonna toss it and get a new one. This is my Got To Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel. This is actually really inexpensive, but this has many purposes. Most of the time I use it for my eyebrows, and if I'm wearing a wig, I'll put it there, but I haven't worn a wig in like two years, so I usually keep it with my eyebrow stuff because I use it to set my eyebrows. And then we have Mr. Incredible from Dry Bar. That is a leave-in conditioner spray. And then we have the Moroccan oil. This is the Moroccan oil treatment. I love oils for my hair. I put them in my hair when they're wet before I dry them. And then we have a Jumpstart Quick Dry Blowout Serum. Um, I use this. I'm going to keep it and continue to use it because it was expensive, but I don't think it really does much. And then we have the Anti-Dandruff Scalp Serum. So this is the 2% salicylic acid. This is actually really nice. It's from First Aid Beauty. I got it from Sephora. I am going to keep it. Before I found out that it was eczema on my scalp and not um, dandruff, uh, I was using this and it actually did really help for a very short period of time. So if it's just dandruff you're having issues with an itchy scalp, this will be great. But if it's like me and I found out I have eczema on my scalp, this only is like a temporary relief for like a day or two. So I have to use like medicated shampoo on my scalp. So yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep it. Mm, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it. I might give it to my daughter. And then this is just another sample from Amika. This is just more bobby pins and shit.
So we have curl boosting spray. This is basically the one that I use the day after or days after. Um, instead of using water, I'll spritz this through my hair and get my curls to activate again. This is the same thing. It's just a mousse and I love it. It's by Curls Girls with Curls. And then I have this. It's a time-saving blowout spray. I'm gonna get rid of it. It was sent to me for free. This is really expensive and so was the shampoo. I think the shampoo winded up being like 50 or $60 and I was like, no, thank you. So this is Shu Imora. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It smells good, it's nice, but I don't use it. So then I have the Way Texturizing Hairspray. It's my favorite, it is staying. Then I have Red Can Quick Tease, which is just another texturizing spray, but I love it. This is R & Co Vicious Stronghold Hairspray. This was also sent to me. I got quite a few R & Co's. I'm gonna keep it. It was a nice hairspray, but I think it might be broken. Um, I'm gonna give it to my daughter. I'm gonna, I'm just trying to get rid of it. This is a BB bond building repair treatment. I don't know what that does. Strengthens your hair. I'll keep it. And then just the hydrate sheer conditioner to the shampoo sample I have. Not doing very well at decluttering, am I? I never do. Okay, a brand new mousse. I'm glad I got rid of that one. Forgot I had that. <laughs> Paul Mitchell heating spray. This is the hot off the press spray and I really, really love this, but it's really old. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I might give it to my daughter if she'll use it, but we have the Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. Again, I don't use gel very often, so it's literally barely used, but I will keep it just in case I require it at some point. It's always good to have. This is the Chi Magnified Volume Finish Spray. I'm getting rid of Big Sexy Hair. What a tease, back comb in a bottle. I'm getting rid of, I don't use it. And then this is ultra hydrating coconut curl co-wash oh shower and then we have the deep treatment also going in my bathroom and then this is just another one of the sprays i when i tell you i use the curl boost spray this is the one that i use like the most i use this almost every single day just to give my hair a little life so this is i'm gonna get rid of it because it's almost empty but this is the ag hair recoil um curl activator this one stunk too kind of it wasn't my favorite is what i'm saying but this was really I, it's, it's basically almost done um this was really expensive it was really nice really fucking expensive so now we're gonna clean around i think i'm gonna put this down which just stops my drawers from shifting all over the place because i hate when like my containers shift backwards i need to start putting some in all of these drawers, but that's a really tedious task I don't want to do. I'm trying to figure out, I guess I should have measured these off. This is too, I mean, it's a little crazy, but it fits. Mm, yeah, that'll work. So I'm gonna put my hair tools in this one back here. In here, I'm gonna just start organizing all of the stuff I just got. So anything that has to lay down has to go there. I got the Moisture Memory Reactivator from Curlsmith. I got the Hydro Style Flex Flexi Jelly. I also got the Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. It's co-wash. I got a Volumizing Dry Shampoo. And then I got a Weightless Air Dry Cream. I think that's a leave-in conditioner. I don't think that that one, no. What?
So I thought I was going to be getting rid of these big old, these little bins, but they wanted up coming in handy. So this will not be being a hair care drawer and a nail drawer because there is no way on earth I could condense any further. Like I just couldn't. There's, there's no way. Um, I got rid of quite a few products. I mean, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 plus products and then some other accessories and stuff. But like I told you, I knew this was going to be a hard declutter because I love my hair things and you never know when you need them. So I got rid of like all the old stuff or the stuff I don't use. I'll probably come through here again just to be like more thorough. Like, okay, I don't use this. I don't need this. But this is what I got so far. I got my samples, my hair accessories, my hair brushes, combs, picks, etc. And then I have a hairbrush here because it's too big to be in here. But my rubber bands, hair ties, and bobby pins, my stand-up collection stuff, my hair tools, my other products that would not stand up because they're a pain in my arse. I should just get rid of my curling wand because I don't use it. I am going to get rid of my curly wand. Ah, goodbye, curly wand. It's nice to know ya. Let's do this again. Okay. So now that's much better. And this can go. So I'm getting rid of my curly wand. Woohoo! <laughs> but like I said, I already went through and got rid of a lot of my hot tools because I had way more than that. So it closes. That's good. It closes. I have a mess underneath here. I got all these bobby pins now. But it looks good. I think it looks much better. Um, I wish I could have put my nail stuff in here, but that's just clearly not going to be a possibility. So that is it for my hair care declutter and organization. Um, I, I wish I could have got rid of more stuff. And I think that I'm, I'm going to have to go in here and be a little bit harsher because I really wanted to put like my hair care and my nails, but I really think my nails are going to completely take over too because I have so many nail things even after decluttering but I'm really happy that I was able to at least get rid of quite a few products quite a few um different like bins that I didn't need the little ones so I like how it looks now I think it looks very good now very organized so I think what I want to really do at some point is maybe switch a drawer so all of my products can stand up I absolutely hate that my products can't stand up so I might get another drawer over here and like lift the top shelf, like the tray, like one of these up higher. So these products can sit perfectly up. Um, but that's about it for right now. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. I'm running out of space. How do you run out of space in an eight foot freaking wardrobe unit? I don't, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's just because I can't, I can't get rid of things and I'm like I need to but I love how it turned out for now it's nice it'll work but I think I will be changing it up so if I change it up I will let you know if you guys want to see that as a video when I change it up and how I reorganize it then go ahead and comment below and let me know but that is it for today's video guys I hope you liked it I missed you guys so freaking much I missed all your comments and all your love I have been posting on my community tab so I appreciate everyone who's been commenting over there um, and just saying like kind things and loving things and positive things I just have so much going on and I had so much going on but that'll be for another video so I hope you enjoyed this hair care declutter if you did make sure you hit that like button for me if you're not subscribed to my channel you should be subscribed to my channel um sometimes I disappear uh but for the most part when I'm here we have a good time so make sure you do subscribe before you leave and as always guys I love you so much I love all of your support and I will see you on the next one bye